Good morning, everybody, and welcome to another episode here on I've Got 10, where I am spending time with the amazing companies in the dental industry that either provide dental practices a product or a service, having them come on and share just 10 minutes worth of great information about them, their company, and most importantly, how they can help you today. So I am super honored to have this week's guest, Jennifer Pierce, who is an executive coach from Prosperity Dental Solutions, and she is with me. She's been in dentistry for about 23 years. She's owned practices. She's worked in practices. She knows just a little bit about dentistry. And so I'm very excited for her to come on and talk about her exciting company and most importantly, what she is doing to help dental practices. Jennifer, good morning. Good morning, John. Thank you so much for having me on. Absolutely. Thanks for coming on the podcast. All right. So this is your floor to go ahead and tell us a little bit more about Prosperity Dental Solutions. Well, as she stated, I've been in dentistry for 23 years. I came into dentistry as a practice administrator for about 17 years. And then um, the last five years as a practice co-owner, uh, two dental practices. Um, we are located in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Um, and Prosperity Dental Solutions was born out of love passion for this industry and the desire to uh, continue and grow dental practices. Um, uh, you and I were talking before we came on the air about uh, what's happening in dentistry, um, which is not anything new. This has been going on for about 23 years and since I've been in dentistry about how you kind of have to choose your place in dentistry. Um, so it was uh, the company named Prosperity Comes because I believe it is a mindset. Um, you can have an abundance mindset or you can have a kind of a lack mindset. So Prosperity Dental Solutions was created to help practices um, have a prosperous dental practice and have uh, great systems in place to support the dentist. Um, we are a little different in the coaching realm because we believe that everything has to be integrative. Change doesn't happen without integration in a dental practice. Uh, what we found, Wendy is my uh, partner in crime. Her name is Wendy Nix, and she's been in dentistry for about 14 years. And we joined forces because in both of our separate coaching careers, we were finding that a lot of people were frustrated with coaching because they would get a lot of guidelines and books and ways to do things. But when it came time to go back and actually put it to practice, this is where we would see a disconnect happen. So uh, Wendy and I were um, uh, collaborating on this and um, saw that we both had the same passion for bringing the systems into a dental practice, setting them up, training the team, setting it up for accountability, and then giving the team support. I love the analogy of crawl, walk, run. Uh, we all have to crawl, and then we get to walk, and then we run. Um, so uh, integrative coaching means that we come in and we support the practice in all um, avenues. Um, systems integration, vision and culture training, uh, hygiene integration, assistant integration, uh, everything, in my opinion, is a cog in the wheel. And uh, the dentist is the center of the wheel, of course. Without the dentist, we cannot do what we all do. However, the dentist can't do what they need to do if we're not all supporting the wheel. So um, this might date me a little bit, but you remember old bikes and how they had spokes and, and one of your spokes came out of your wheel. You had to stop and fix the spoke. <laughs> Same analogy happens in dental practices today. If one spoke is, a, is out of place, the whole wheel does not run as efficiently as it should. So uh, that's why I break it up. And uh, the, the, the more you get down into your systems, and set them up for success and accountability. It makes the team feel supported. Uh, everybody knows their, their role. They stay in their lanes. And then the team just starts to create and have so much more momentum and health. Um, dental practices tend to, in my opinion, sometimes take on a culture of family, which is wonderful as they should. However, um, Keeping the family functioning in a healthy manner is the most important point. 
um, you know, keeping it uh, moving along in a positive manner and not letting family dynamics come into the practice so that the team can be as healthy and function as uh, efficient as possible. So that kind of gives you an overview how prosperity came to uh, be. The tagline for our company is um, near and dear to my heart. Uh, one of the things that we have found is when we get called by a dentist, they're usually in crisis, crisis in their production, crisis in their collections, crisis in their team, loss of a key employee, those kind of things. Well, everybody talks about good work-life balance, uh, but one of the biggest things is you have to love your practice and love your life. So that is our tagline, love your practice, love your life. Um, it is possible. You know, we have a lot of things happening in dentistry right now. And uh, sometimes I think that the negative overshadows the positive. But the positive is um, really still out there. Um, I do believe that you have to kind of pick your path as a dentist. If you want to be a high end dentist or if you want to be a um, kind of a. I don't want to say low end. I don't I can't find that right word, John. Um, you know what I mean? But <laughs> yeah. I mean, low end is, ugh, you know, but, um, you know, you didn't go to dental school as a dentist to have an insurance company dictate the way you treat your patients. Right. And too much of that goes on sometimes. And it creates a, um, a an, an unhealthiness in the practice. And that it also creates a, kind of a disconnect in how the patients and the doctor are able to interact and create and foster their relationship. So Prosperity Dental Solutions was born out of passion and love for this noble profession that we are invited to and allowed to serve in daily within our practices that we get to collaborate and coach in. And I like the word coach because I feel like a coach has done something that they're coaching. Um, it, and I like to use football a lot. I am in Texas and I come from a big family of football players. <laughs> so if I was a quarterback coach, quarterback, I would want a quarterback coach to coach me. I would like somebody who had done that role. Um, so between Wendy and I, there's not a role we haven't done in the practice, honestly, right. other than uh, the dentist, because and our team has done these roles. We have a hygienist coach and we have an assistant coach. Um, but the reason we did that is because, like I just said, we've done the whole game. We've played the parts of the football team. So right. we're right. able to really get in it and talk about it. Well, and I think that's so crucial, right? Because uh, so often, as you know, Jennifer, in the business that you're in, one of the first questions that people want to know is, what have you done in dentistry, right? And, and, and how have you helped practices? But most importantly, how are you going to be able to come in and help us. And right. so my, my first question for you would be when, when you work with a practice or somebody calls you or whatever the case may be, as you know, one of the most challenging things a lot of times, especially if a practice, let's say they're not in crisis and so they really need help, but let's say there's somebody that knows they want to get to the next level. Maybe they're, maybe they're comfortable. What are some of the things that you and Wendy do to move them? We'll use football analogies this morning, but to move them over the goal line. To, you know, to take them from those last three or four yards to help them go from, OK, we're comfortable, but OK, now we want to move forward and, and, and bring on somebody like yourself to help us take it to the next level. Um, yes. And uh, we have one of those practices uh, and doing good, doing very good. Uh, a lot of, a lot of people have read the book Good to Great um, and good is is not a bad thing, but if you have that passion deep down in your belly and you want to go to great, then we need to set up world-class delivery of service. We need to really look at all the systems and see where the fine tuning is. It's not that they're doing anything wrong necessarily, but those little baby details that sometimes are missed are huge because patients feel everything in our dental practices and people buy from people they trust. So we will come in, we will still do a complete look at the practice. Uh, we like to call our plan, our treatment plan. We will treat the plan, what we need to do to fix the practice, areas of concern, areas where we see we can tweak and cause some growth. Um, 
we are, like I said, we're doing this with one practice right now and they were doing uh, good, but we are definitely going to grade. We are on target for a 45% increase in six months. That's awesome. Just That's awesome. from tweaking systems. Yeah. Um, this is also a practice that is very cutting edge. Um, 3D printing, uh, of course, all of the technology for scanning, um, cone beam, implants, um, really high end dentistry. Mm -hmm. That is um, a choice. And it what I find a dentist who really gets into that and likes to do that, they are setting themselves apart in the marketplace. Um, and where we come into play, I've played those those games. I understand what they're doing. I understand how to coach the uh, people who close those treatment plans, how to really do those and refine those. When people are getting to the point where they're rebuilding their mouth, they need a lot of trust and respect with the team and the doctor as well. So this is all mindset, vision, culture training for the dental practice to go to the next level. If they're in crisis and we got to get them out of crisis, we got to do that quick. We got to right. move in, boots on the ground. We got to do some things quick because we've got to ease that pain so that the doctor is, can move from overwhelmed into thinking, okay, I can do this. Sure. So, question for you when you and Wendy go in and you give them their treatment plan, yes. does anybody ever say to you, well, my insurance will only, only cover so much? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll have to use that one, John. That was very good. <laughs> You know, Jennifer, we, we realize we want to go to the next level and we, and, and we want to be able to take this dentistry to the next level and our team wants to grow and I want to grow, but yeah. our insurance will only cover so much of your treatment plan, Jennifer. We, you know, I have this conversation with teams on a regular basis and I say to the team, team, do you ever go to your MD when he says I need blood work and you say, does my insurance cover that? Right. I've never heard that in a doctor's yeah. practice. Yeah. Unfortunately, we have created this in dentistry and we also have the right to uncreate it. Yeah, I love that. So real quick, if you could tell yeah. everybody how they find out more about Prosperity Dental Solutions, where they can find you guys. Uh, you, I know you got your new website up. I was on it last night. It looks awesome. You got a great video on there, did a great job. So go ahead and share with everybody how they can learn more about you guys. Well, uh, our new website is, of course, ProsperityDentalSolutions.com. If you would like to reach out to me personally, please do so. My email is jennifer at prosperitydentalsolutions.com. And a phone number where you can reach is 817-975-4576. And as always, we like conversations. We are building relationships with our coaching clients. And a conversation is how everything starts to see if collaboration is really healthy for everybody. Awesome. So as we close here, Jennifer, you and I were talking before we got on this podcast that we're going to do something fun here the next couple of months is that we're going to have you back on and bring on one of your practices with their permission, of course. And I think most importantly, highlight and share with everybody what that experience has been like. I know a lot of times when, when, when a coach or a consultant company works with a practice, we get to hear a lot, rightfully so, from yourself and or Wendy and some of the great things you guys are doing. And I know we talked, it would be really, really cool to start to bring them on and have them share some of the specifics that you guys have been able to help them with. So I am really looking forward to that. And I can't thank you enough for coming on I've Got 10 and wish you the best of luck as you continue to do great things for dental practices all over the country. Thank you so much for your time. All right. Have a great weekend. You as well.